Hello, in this video I'm going to be demonstrating my action set for colour temperature. It's uh, I built this action set when I was given a job of putting a logo on the side of the van by a photographer. He needed a bit of retouching and he came to me. And uh, I naturally asked for the raw file and he said, uh, I, I don't shoot in raw, I, I shoot in JPEG with the camera set to auto white balance and it was at that point I decided he must be crazy he's spent a lot of money on a lens and camera body combination to get the best quality he can but yet when he's taking the shot and pressing that button he's made this choice to limit himself to only capturing so much information and I find that madness why you'd want to do that so if you're shooting in JPEG and you have the option of shooting in RAW you, you need to think about what you're doing to me that's like uh, going out and buying a Ferrari and saying to the garage right I, I want this Ferrari it, it's lovely it's, but I just want to limit myself to 4000 revs just put a limiter on it so I can't go above 4,000 revs and if I had a Ferrari and I got to limit it to 4,000 revs I feel I'd be missing out and that's how I see War vs JPEG you're, you're missing out on something anyway back to shot so uh, when I got the JPEG I just felt that needed maybe shooting in tungsten I, I, I wasn't really sure but I, I wanted to see the results what it would roughly look like if it was shot in tungsten and there are photo filters in Adobe Photoshop which does that look and they're fairly reasonable but I, I wanted something a bit more instant where I didn't have to play around with slide bars and uh, it, it, this action set isn't perfect it, it's there to get me as close to the bullseye as I can possibly get but and I, I've seen other people sort of play around with uh, trying to get the same results you know and spending a lot longer doing it and not being as good so anyway let's show you the action set hopefully you've gone to the website and downloaded it and it will come up in a little folder color temperature you just go over and you play it and away you go and they're all hidden and it just comes up with lots of different images of what it would look like so this is a uh, fluorescent to daylight let's put in a fluorescent to daylight filter over lens um, which is putting a fluorescent to tungsten filter over lens. This is a uh, flash, daylight, and uh, it's not 100% perfect, but it does work. Um, let's show you what, why you'd want to do this. I don't know, but let's take daylight to tungsten. So I'll take that out of the folder, put that at the top, and pull that down. And then I'll run the action set again using this filter which has turned it into tungsten. And And a lot of these useless daylight, if you, you know, you haven't gone back how it should be, flash, and, but until you get down to the tungsten to daylight, and it's brought it back again. It, it's not perfect. Is that's the original file? But it, it's brought it back to reasonable looking shot. Why you'd want to 
do that. I, I don't know. I'm just sort of showing you what this filter or what the extra set sort of does. You know, there's no possible reason why you'd take an image from this action set and then reprocess it because you're compressing data. I'm just doing it because it was fun <laughs> and showing you. So um, hopefully you uh, download it and you use it on your images and you, you find this reference guide useful. Um, thank you for watching.